ever noticed the gas prices end in a fraction of a cent? Yeah, they always do. Well, a 2 News viewer named Tyler noticed that and said, why is that? It's Friday, so we sent Matt searching for a good answer. Yeah, Mark, Sean, if I asked you to give me a dollar, you might not want to do it, but you could do it. You could physically go into your wallet and pull out a dollar and hand it to me. Same thing with a penny. If I said, give me a penny, you could reach into your wallet, pull out a penny, and give it to me. But if I asked you to give me a fraction of a penny, it can't be done, say, nine-tenths of a penny. Yet yeah, that is exactly what pretty much every gas station does. Every time you fill up your gas tank, they ask you for a dollar price plus nine-tenths of a penny. What a strange concept. And Tyler wants to know why that is. Let's see. Surely you have noticed gas prices are low. In fact, prices are at the lowest level in more than five years, averaging less than $2 for a gallon of regular unleaded. And with prices so low, it means that, proportionally, one of the odd things in gas prices is that much more noticeable. Virtually all gas stations price a gallon of gas ending in nine-tenths of a cent. Nine-tenths of a cent at the end of... There's no such thing as nine-tenths <laughs> of a cent, is there? Uh, only, only at the gas station. Jeff Threadgold with Threadgold Economics wrote a book that addresses the odd pricing structure. He says it's a mere marketing gimmick. It's a way to uh, make any price sound better. If it's a shirt in a store, it's $17.99. A car is... Seventeen thousand nine ninety nine. I mean, it just sounds better than eighteen thousand. Yeah, but unlike a shirt or a car, which deal in whole cents that physically can be paid, drivers are often left owing some remainder when they buy gas, some fraction of a cent, which does not actually exist. So, how is that fraction factored in when it comes time to pay? Jeff says it is rounded up or down to the nearest penny, which over the lifetime of driving, statistically, has a driver breaking about even. We're used to it. It's a, it's a consumer country. We deal with it. We laugh at it. We do interviews like this about it. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, but don't think that fraction of a penny doesn't add up. Jeff says that extra nine-tenths of a cent to you and me means an extra two to four hundred million dollars per year to the people who sell gasoline. Yeah, and because nine-tenths of a cent isn't actually something that can be quantified, it doesn't actually exist according to the U.S. Department of Treasury, there have been some pushes in some states to get rid of that altogether. Nothing like that I can find here in Utah. Also, it has been uh, made mandated in some states that when you list a price, it actually is mandated how big that nine-tenths must be. Because a lot of, you know, sometimes you might see it where you can't really see that nine-tenths. They want to make sure people know they're paying that not real amount of money. Thank you, Tyler, for the good question. If you have one, hit me up on KUTV.com. More answers next Friday. Mark and Shauna? Now I know. I'd now never, we know. Yeah, stop to think about that. Thanks.